the block and rotate copy is useful if you would like to create a group of copies as an array with rows and columns or create a series of rotational copies around a specified center. In this example, a circle is very quickly modified using node editing to create a path that will be copied using the rotate copy to create an applique vector. To do this, select the block and copy rotate tool, which is located on the toolbar at the top of the screen. At the top of the dialog, it allows you to switch between block copy and rotate copy. I'm going to switch this to rotate copy. Currently, the rotation center is set to the bottom left corner of the model. For now, I'll keep the angle set to 90 degrees and create two copies. Bearing in mind that this includes the original selected vector, so it will create one more vector. If this is applied, you can see that a copy is created below the model because of the rotation center. To change the rotation center, figures can be entered into the X and Y sections or click select and this will allow you to select anywhere on the model. In this case, I'm going to snap onto the center of the model. You'll see that the center is now zero. Rather than 90 degrees, I'm going to rotate a full 360 degrees and create five copies. This would be a bit long winded to trim all of these bits off. So with all of the vectors still selected, I'm going to use the weld tool to merge them all together. This can then be resized by using the transform tool and move to the top left. I'm now going to switch to using the block copy option. This will create columns and rows of copies. You can specify whether you would like to use offsets, so the size of the object plus the gap that you would like, or you can just specify the gap in between the objects. For this example, I'm going to use gaps and a size of quarter of an inch in X and Y. To change the copy direction, just click on the icons under directions and the arrow will change direction. I'm going to create one column and six rows. This will create five additional copies below the existing vector. Next, I'm going to create six columns and one row. This will create five additional copies across the model. This is how you can quickly build up an array of copies. Pasting along a curve is a very easy to use tool. It basically just creates copies along a line that you specify. Here you can see the previous applique vector, but it also has a vector running around it. I'd like to create multiple copies of the applique along the rectangle. To open the paste along a curve tool, select the icon from the top toolbar. The way the vectors are selected is important for this tool. You need to select the object that you would like to copy and then the curve that you would like to copy around. So in this case, I need to select the applique first and then shift select the rectangle. I can do this after opening the tool or beforehand. I'm first going to use the default options and specify the number of copies. In this case, three and then select paste. This will create three copies along the rectangle, not including the original one. If the number of copies is up to 20, you can see that you can create some quite detailed vectors very quickly. The other mode allows you to specify a distance between each copy for more precise copies. Here it is set to one inch. 